ancient Sparta. Just the name conjures images of fearless warriors, grueling training and unmatched resilience. But beneath the heroic tales lies a society with practices so harsh they're scarcely discussed in the popular retellings of Spartan glory. Today we're diving into the darkest corners of Spartan life, from brutal rituals to chilling social customs that reveal the true cost of their legendary strength. This isn't the Sparta of Hollywood, it's far more intense, more unsettling and incredibly real. If you're ready to uncover the shocking truths that history books often overlook, stay with us. Each fact brings us closer to understanding the full picture of this iconic yet deeply complex civilization. Spartan life was harsh from the very start, and this brutality began as soon as a child took its first breath. Unlike most other Greek states, where family bonds and individual lives were cherished, Sparta placed little value on the lives of newborns unless they met specific criteria. Known as apothetes, or exposure, the infamous practice of infanticide was a sanctioned tradition that involved casting infants deemed weak, deformed or otherwise imperfect out into the Tegetus Mountains to die from exposure. According to Plutarch, a child would be brought before the Council of Elders, where his worthiness was assessed based solely on his physical strength and vitality. This was a practice that sought to eliminate any individual unable to meet the demanding requirements of Spartan life a life dedicated entirely to military success. If the elders decided a child wasn't robust enough, it would be left to die in the wilderness, where survival was impossible. For those who passed this brutal initiation, however, there was no guarantee of a better life, just the beginning of more challenges ahead. This practice of state-sanctioned infanticide was intended to maintain a population of physically capable, combat-ready individuals who could shoulder the weight of the Spartan military machine. Other Greek states viewed this practice with a mixture of horror and awe, for it represented both a shocking lack of empathy and a total commitment to martial superiority. Blood-curdling initiation. The road to Spartan adulthood was laden with pain, humiliation and terror, and it began at the tender age of seven, when Spartan boys were removed from their families to enter the Agoge, a state-controlled education and training system. This was no ordinary schooling. Rather, it was a relentless conditioning process designed to strip away any traces of softness or individualism and replace them with unwavering loyalty and physical endurance. Every boy underwent a strict regimen of discipline, training and deprivation. From being given insufficient food to forcing them to steal to survive, the Agoje left these boys no choice but to endure or fail. But the ultimate test of Spartan metal was the Kryptea, a terrifying, often lethal initiation ritual that young men faced toward the end of their training. Sent into the wilderness alone and armed only with a knife, each boy was tasked with surviving while stalking and killing helots, the state-owned slaves who served the Spartan elite. This ritual wasn't merely a test of survival skills, it was a trial designed to desensitize them to violence and instill fear among the enslaved population. As philosopher Plato noted, the Kryptea was an exercise meant to sharpen the minds and bodies of the young Spartans who were instructed to practice stealth, strength and kill without hesitation. Those who completed the Kryptea returned hardened, conditioned for the life of a warrior, while those who didn't were simply erased from Spartan memory. It was through such brutal training that the Spartans crafted a warrior elite unlike any other, men who had been stripped of personal weakness and moulded into tools of war. Scorning the weak, Sparta's disdain for weakness extended into all aspects of life, and those deemed unworthy faced public shame and scorn. Spartans were famously unforgiving toward individuals who showed signs of cowardice, viewing any such behavior as a threat to the state's survival. A soldier who returned from battle without his shield, a symbol of his commitment to hold the line, faced disgrace as carrying one's shield was considered an obligation to protect one's comrades. The famous Spartan phrase, either with your shield or on it, captures the Spartan mother's role in instilling this fierce sense of duty. Those deemed cowards were ostracized and often barred from social functions, left to live a life devoid of honor. Even the elderly were respected only as long as they displayed the resilience and fortitude expected of all Spartans. 
By scorning the weak, Sparta created an atmosphere where only the strongest could thrive, while anyone who fell short of their exacting standards was rejected. Shared Wives In Sparta, marriage was less about romance and personal choice than it was about producing strong offspring and supporting the state's interests. Unlike other Greek city-states where monogamy was the standard, Sparta endorsed a practice known as polyandry, or the sharing of wives among multiple men. This unusual arrangement, which shocked other Greeks, was designed to ensure that Sparta produced a steady stream of physically and mentally strong children, regardless of conventional family dynamics. Historian Xenophon noted that in Spartan society, measures were taken to ensure the vitality and strength of their population. This included encouraging men to father children with other men's wives if it was believed to benefit the state, reflecting the communal and pragmatic approach to marriage and procreation. Women in Sparta held a uniquely elevated position relative to other Greek societies. They were expected to be strong and physically fit to bear children who could become warriors. However, this freedom came at the price of deep personal sacrifices, as their primary role was to bear and raise future soldiers rather than cultivate family life in the traditional sense. Polyandry wasn't about affection or choice, but about fulfilling a social responsibility to keep Sparta's population strong. Legitimized pederasty A complex and unsettling aspect of Spartan society was its endorsement of pederasty within the agoge. Adult male mentors, often respected warriors, were assigned to young boys undergoing their training to guide them and foster their development. This mentorship, sometimes extended to intimate relationships, sanctioned as a means of strengthening emotional and martial bonds within the ranks. Although similar practices existed elsewhere in Greece, Sparta's approach was more systematic and, as Plutarch noted, institutionalized in a manner unique to their warrior society. To the Spartans, these relationships were a rite of passage, one they believed essential to ensuring loyalty and comradeship on the battlefield. While uncomfortable to our modern sensibilities, in ancient Sparta these practices were integrated into their social and military structures without moral qualms. Slave Society While the Spartans prided themselves on self-reliance and strength, their society depended heavily on the helots, an oppressed and enslaved population forced to labor under Spartan rule. The Helots, primarily the native Messenians, endured generations of subjugation, forced to farm and produce resources so that Spartan citizens could focus entirely on military training and warfare. Unlike slaves in other Greek city-states who might serve in households, Helots were collectively owned by the state and subject to brutal treatment at every level. The Helots lived under constant threat, forced to submit to the whims of a society that regarded them as disposable. This slave system was integral to Sparta's structure, making it possible for Spartan warriors to focus solely on military prowess at the cost of human compassion and dignity. Spartan society was undeniably unique, a culture that prioritized physical endurance, military supremacy, and a brutal pragmatism that demanded sacrifices from every individual. The Spartan way was harsh, structured, and unyielding, producing a legacy that would echo across centuries, immortalized in tales of fearless warriors who lived for their city-state above all else. Yet, as we've seen, these warriors paid a profound price for their revered status, shaped by customs that remain disturbing to modern sensibilities. Spartan society was neither simple nor ideal. It was a testament to the extremes that human societies can reach in their quest for power and control. If you found this exploration of Spartan life intriguing, remember to like this video, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. For more historical insights, stay with us as we continue to uncover the forgotten and often shocking realities of ancient civilizations.